what imagine if oh my goodness see if i could film like this that would be amazing but i think it would be so dark like look at this glow look at this glow now you know i'm looking more decent <laughs> we are glowing okay we are glowing we are glowing we are glowing hi guys welcome back to my channel and even you welcome to my channel so today um i did a i tried following how do they even say it again i tried following a blank tutorial so today i've tried following a blank tutorial and if you can guess who i tried following well it's gonna be in the description <laughs> it's already there the title of the video is already there i guess i tried following a nikki tutorial like can you imagine like <laughs> Of all people I went to come follow is Miss Nikki. Anyway, so I'm glad I did this because um, you know, Miss Nikki is very talented. Why do I keep calling her Miss Nikki? But she gonna be Miss Nikki. <laughs> Miss Nikki is very talented and I love I've been following her for a while now and you know she is very talented and I'm glad I pushed myself to do this. It is definitely not what I would normally come up with on a normal day, but um I'm glad I pushed myself to do this because this is kind of a weird look on me, you know. It's, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to it, the hang of it on me, but I don't know. But anyways, I'm glad I filmed this look, and I'm glad I did this tutorial. I, I had other ones in mind, but you know, I wasn't sure. And I'm glad a friend of mine, Yvonne Jack, who also has a YouTube channel, she told me to, you know, film Nikki. She told me to try doing a, a Nikki tutorials look. So um, yeah, this is what I ended up coming with. I don't know anyways um i tried putting on contacts to kind of go with her eye look but i don't know i think i'm gonna take them out so you guys can see what they look like with my natural eyes as well if you want to see how i achieved this look miss nikki's look just keep on watching <laughs> disclaimer disclaimer pretty much everything i use here she does i don't have pretty much everything she used in that video i don't have any of it none i don't think i have any of the products she used because I watched the video and I was like you know what I like the look but I don't have shimbang of what you have <laughs> I don't have nada so I'm just gonna improvise and that's what we're gonna do in this video let me see what do you make you do all right, so today for priming, I want to be a true Instagram legend. So I'm going to be priming using the Farsali Unicorn Essence. I ain't got that. I do not have the Fasali. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my regular Schmuggler primer. I think she, I believe she used two primers. Uh oh, I have product all over. Lord help me. Well, I believe she used two primers. I'm gonna be using my um, Estee Lauder primer and my Becca primer. Okay, Nikki, what did you do? Foundation today, I'm using a brand new one that I've never tried before. This is Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation in the color 1N2. 1N2. So I ain't got Laura Mercier foundation, but guess what? She tried a new foundation today. I'm gonna be trying the Fenty. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I'm gonna be trying this foundation. I had this foundation since last year. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be trying the the Fenty and I got it in 470, I believe. Let me be sure. Yeah, I got it in 470. So I'm gonna be trying this foundation today, finally. Okay, so she used a beauty blender and normally I had to use a beauty blender first. I usually use a brush first, but I guess since it's first, it, we're trying to follow the exact same same thing she did. So. I am gonna put some pumps here. Oh, well, I really hope. I, I tried it in the store and it was my color, but I don't know. So I put three pumps. Ah, it's been soaked up all oh, the products. Damn it! But we'll just do it. That is red. That is red. Mm. 
Nikki packs on her products, y'all. Like, she be packing. Oh my gosh, I feel so red, but I'm just gonna blend, try and blend this out. Okay. So let's get this straight. This foundation is too red, like for me. I I have more of a yellowish undertone, and this is looking too red. So I don't know, Fenty. I do not know. <laughs> okay, what did she do next? I'm talking about concealer. I do want to let you know that if you like the earrings that I'm wearing, okay. So for her concealer, she didn't say the concealer she used. So I'm just gonna go in with my um. LA girl in chestnut Okay, I don't mind the Fenty if I'm using this with a yellowish undertone concealer So I'm just gonna go and set my My face with my Laura Mercier That's my other mirror I can see she used like this really bright you know so I have done my face um, except the contour usually if I'm doing like an intricate eyeshadow or something that you know there will be a lot of product fallout I like to do my eyeshadow first but Nikki does has after all of this so I'm just praying to God like Lord Jesus I need you because <laughs> I don't know how to do this so you all should pray for me okay I'm also going to prime my eyelid using the Select Cover Up Concealer by MAC. This is not so after... Okay, so she went ahead to prime... She went ahead and primed her eyelids with MAC concealer, but I'm going to use my, uh, my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Light Ivy, simply because you guys know I like that light. Um, you know, if I'm using pigmented eyeshadows, oh Lord Jesus, you guys should pray for me. Because usually, I, this is one reason why I like to do my eyes before, you know? So, um, I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid. Lord. Pray for me. I'm just gonna blend it out. Starting with the outer part, Lord Jesus. Okay, I think I was able to blend that decently. <laughs> okay. The first shade I'm going in with is by the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, and it's the fiery orange. Okay, so I don't have a fiery orange, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this, go in, into my Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to mix um, these two shades right here, this orange and this red. So what does she do with it? And I'm applying this into the crease using a Zoeva 227 brush. And go ahead and buff and blend that out big. Okay, so she started with her crease with this um, combination right here. Ooh. So I'm starting with my crease and then I am going to blend out. Once that is applied, I go in with the yellow and apply it just a little bit above as a softer transition. And doing so Okay, so I'm gonna go into this yellow right here, the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm going to, why am I holding this thing like this? This yellow right here, and I'm gonna put that, use that to kind of blend out that orange. Doing so on a MAC 221 brush, and you definitely wanna keep your brush very soft to the skin. So don't put too much pressure on it, just very small feathery strokes. This is. I only don't know should I'm not to me me uh, yeah, yes. This is one of those looks that looks atrocious till the very last step, which is lashes. So if at any point <laughs> Okay, what are we looking like? Oh child. Lord have mercy. 
I like going in with the purple, and because we have applied the orange, the purple is not gonna grip onto the lid as much as you would do it on a clean base. Thank God on this same palette, they have these two purples, so I think it's more on this end, but I'm gonna be dipping and dabbing in both of them, but I think her purple is more, it's a darker purple, so just putting that, hey! Wait, this is pigmented. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. Let me let me use that lighter purple. <laughs> let me use that lighter purple. Okay, so she what did she do? She put that in the crease, huh? Okay. Let us put that in the crease. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this. Okay. Okay, on the outer and inner corner of the lid, I'm going into the Juvia's Place Magic Palette, and I wanna go in with this shade right here, and I'm applying it right there. But because we have lost all stickiness from applying the shadow over top of the base, I'm reapplying a bit of that concealer to get the stickiness back for maximum coverage. Okay, I don't have that color, of course, and I really wish, you know, my products were as pigmented as hers are, but I'm just gonna work with what I have. So I'm just gonna apply um, a little bit of concealer here as well, as she did, you know. So, because I don't have that shade and I look to see if I could get anything similar to it, nope, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to be mixing this shade right here and a little bit of this black, but I'm going to first of all start with the blue shade and then I'm going to, you know, touch on it with the black, so. Okay. Has literally came out like suede, like it gave like this suede type of look, so I'm just going to put that. Okay, I don't even know if I just recorded what I just did, but I went in with this purple to add on that blue. Oh lord, I really hope I recorded it. Anyways, Miss Nikki did not show this part, but I'm gonna go in with that lighter purple and I'm going to try and blend out this thing that is looking crazy like this. So I'm just gonna blend because I cannot <laughs> stand the way this thing is looking. Of that same concealer and I'm doing a spotlight smoky eye so it's just focused on the center hmm okay let's do our spotlight smoky eyes now shall we I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to look up for me to know you know Still working with the Juvia's Magic Palette and taking this shade right here to set the sides of the lid that we just carved out. So, go so she used a silvery shade, so I'm going into my electric palette and I'm taking this shade right here, the silvery shade. It's broken, so I'm trying to be careful for it not to pour. And I'm using a wet synthetic brush and I'm going to set that. And then on that center portion, I'm applying a bit of the NYX Glitter Primer and then finally sticking the hollow glitter over top. A hollow party. I'm gonna be applying my e.l.f. Um, glitter glue and I will be applying um, this glitter from um, Super Glitters. It's called Slinky Silver.
so I have applied the glitter and okay this is what my eyes are looking like so um, let's see <laughs> I really hope this look um, you know comes out the way I want it to because right now I'm still very 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 skeptical so I'm just trying to brush off you know the excesses okay this is like one of the longest times i've left foundation and you know concealer on my face without you know finishing up my makeup so let's see what did she do next all right quickly highlighting my brow bone okay so she highlighted her brow bone usually, usually that's something i do after i've done my brows but let me see let me see let me see let's do it she did not say what highlighter she used, so I'm just gonna use my Becca Cosmetics um, highlighter in Topaz. Did she do her brows? She did her brows. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me do my brows and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and filled in my brows, so I'm just gonna. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and continue. Um, Highlighting the brow bone and highlighting my inner corners using an icy blue highlighter shade. I don't have icy blue, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Morphe 35 U. Oh, thank you, Morphe. You have saved the day because I think almost pretty much every palette I have used so far are Morphe palettes. Actually, the 35B and not this one. So I'm gonna take this one and this one. So I'm gonna start with this one. And put that in my inner corners and then I will go in with the other one. I think this is icy blue enough. <laughs> Smoking out that waterline using a black coal. This is by Jouer. So for my waterline, I'm going to be using my good old um, Maybelline gel liner. I'm going to put that in my waterline and then gradually smoke that out before using an eyeshadow like she did. And setting that and smoking it out using a black shadow and mine is also by Juvia's Place called Chad. Finally, something that I have that she has that I have. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've done this entire look and I have I don't have anything that she has. So going to my Saharan palette, I'm gonna take Chad right here and I'm gonna smoke that out. Okay, this look is coming together. I literally wore my contacts because I know Nikki doesn't have black eyes. <laughs> a dark eyes so they could match. So hopefully uh, this contacts will not make me look crazy at the end of the day. All right, so it's been very long and intense, but you made it and it's finally time for lashes. These are Doll Beauty Lashes in Eva. Okay, so I'm not gonna follow this step just yet simply because sometimes when I put my setting and I put my lashes and I put my setting spray I get teary eyed so I'm not gonna mess up all of this <laughs> I put lashes now so I'm just gonna skip this step till later okay so I'm just gonna jump to the next one okay so I think this is one of the most extravagant looks I've ever done in my entire career of course inspiration is Absolutely. taken from Mitchell <laughs> so focusing on the face now I'm gonna bronze Next to nothing powder in medium dark. Brush, doing it. Bronzing, bronzing, bronzing. So she bronzed or whatever. I was just fixing my eyes. She bronzed, but um, I'm going to contour. Basically, that's my own bronzing. <laughs> because um, I don't think I know bronzer that will work on my skin. So we finna contour. And for my glow, I'm gonna be taking this Dull Beauty Dull Light Highlighter in Shine, no, like a diamond. Okay, so I'm trying to get something like she has. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I want something not as goldish. Has was more of the pinkish tones. So I'm gonna apply my Topaz highlighter in um, Becca, and on top of that, I'm gonna apply my. Um, 
my um, Makeup Forever bronzer in Golden Days. So. Um, so I'm gonna go for nude glossy lips. I just feel like it will give the most balance So first I'm going in with the Shoe Longwear Lip Cream Liner in Pink Champagne Shimmer, my favorite I ain't got no Shoe so I'm gonna be using my regular <laughs> my regular um, black um, wet and wild um, gel uh, not jet brow, wet and wild brown brow, brown brow pen. So this is like the perfect lip liner for me. Like as you guys can see, my lips are are really dark, black. So. She brings her liner over the top, but honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna look with that, so I'm just gonna not do that. I usually just put mine right on top, like my lip line, so I'm not gonna look for trouble today. <laughs> okay, so she used a lipstick. Let me see, what do I have close to that? I'm gonna apply London, my matte lip cream by London, um, <laughs> my matte lip cream by NYX in London. I wanna get like that nudish. On, on top of that, I'm going to be putting um, my NYX gloss in Peanut Brittle. I'm just going to apply my um, MAC Cosmetics blush in Raisins, my regular, just a little bit. So I'm gonna be applying my Mario Badisky setting spray as per usual. So guys, this is the finished look. Well, not the finished look, but I just went ahead to apply my lashes and I'm just gonna, you know, like bring down my hair and I'll be right back. <laughs> So guys, this is the finished look. Um, I did this hairstyle. Okay, quick story. I filmed this hairstyle, like I filmed the tutorial on this hairstyle, and then you know I wanted to move some some stuff into the trash and delete some things off of my laptop. Guess what? Guess what? Just just guess. I know you can guess. I deleted the tutorial. Oh my goodness! Like. I tried recovering it back and they're telling me I have to pay like 100 bucks. I said no, wait. <laughs> I know I wanted to drop this tutorial but it's not that deep so there goes my tutorial. But anyways, um, there's so many tutorials on how to do crochet. It is a crochet hairstyle so anyways, it's not about this hairstyle. That's not what we're on about. So this is a finish. Oh, why do I have glitter here? Okay. So this is the finish eye look. I want to hear your thoughts on you know on how I did. I know this is not how Miss Nikki's look turned out because hers was lit, more precise, and you know the colors were more popping or whatever. But you know, we're just gonna go with this one, okay? We're just we're just gonna go with this one. So um, I I don't mind how it turned out. Honestly, it is out of my comfort zone doing something like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. It is out of my comfort zone. In the sense that when I had to do halo eyes and then with the colors like that all in my face, I'm just like, I don't know. But anyways, I don't mind it at all. I'm really glad I pushed myself to do it. It's not necessarily that it was hard. It's just the way it looks on me, you know. I like the turnout. I like the turnout. Giving you guys like Diana Ross type of feel over here. <laughs> 
anyways um yeah so please let me know how you think i did and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you are new please join the family let us grow together you know so please click that subscribe button wherever it is going to be and also leave a comment or give me a thumbs up you know just support you again okay anyways i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching guys bye and remain blessed